Why do you think Warner Brothers cancelled the Batgirl movie? <laughs> yeah, the Batgirl movie. I'm sure it was dreadful. So this, um, this Warner Brothers have cancelled the Batgirl movie. It's not going to be released in any format. It's just going to go down the memory hole. And the student, the studio apparently spent $90 million on it. But the test audiences hated it so much. What happened here, Toby? Um, well, um, I'm hoping that the reason he cancelled it is because it was just too woke. Um, so, you know, it was a race swap superhero movie. So Batgirl was being played by a mixed race woman, a woman of colour. Yes. And her best friend, her flatmate, was trans. It was directed by the people that brought us Ms. Marvel, the most woke Marvel TV spin-off on Disney+, Plus, which is saying something. So this was just um, really preachy, basically. It, 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 was, it was written by this feminist who's written this kind of man-hating thriller called Birds of Prey. I mean, it was like the ultimate ultra-woke superhero movie. And I think oh. the new boss of Warner Brothers Discovery, having kind of cut his teeth by cancelling CNN Plus a few weeks after it launched. <laughs> yeah. Now I thought, I know, I'm going to cancel the most woke movie on our slate. Yes. And I think, it's, I think it is sending a signal, you know, across Hollywood that from now on we want to make movies like Top Gun Maverick and not, you know, race swap super. <laughs> <laughs> well, that got a good Bobby reaction from the... Uh... <laughs> you, know, you know Tony I... wasn't in it. <laughs> <laughs> I did quite like Top Gun Maverick. Yeah. I thought it was fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Not. yeah it, was, it was quite good. It was quite... Flying. <laughs> yeah, well, this is this does sound like a case of go woke, go broke, very literally because they've wasted ninety million dollars. Haven't seen the movie, obviously no one has. But the, the, imagine this: they didn't release the movie because it was so bad. They released the Last Jedi, but they didn't release this. Imagine how bad it must have been. <laughs> Look at what they release and then think about that. I'm terrified. Yeah, about but the thing about it. Last Jedi, I mean, it could have been just really terrible and still done well because of the brand, right? Batgirl, no-one really cares about Batgirl, do they? No, you know, about I, I do care now. Now yeah, I want yeah, to see yeah. it. I mean, it's <laughs> the worst movie ever made. Not even going to go straight to video. That bad. Cost 90 million. I kind of want to see the it. The only thing Why that's that? sad is that Michael Keaton and Brendan Fraser in it, and they are both brilliant. Oh, I love Which Michael again, Keaton, yeah. Again, how bad must it have been that they couldn't even save it? I didn't know there was a bat girl. Is she like a niece or something? What, what, <laughs> what, what's the relevant? What's the? Re I, I genuinely don't know who, who she is. Yeah, I, I think I, there was a. Wasn't there a bat girl? There was a bat girl movie. I think was there. Didn't do very well. I was it there Catwoman? Was, there Maybe was Catwoman. Cat wasn't with Alicia you? Silverstone bat girl many years was ago? She? Okay, okay, well, was she? Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not up on my anthropomorphic <laughs> uh, heroes. How dare you? I mean, I, I do remember Supergirl. There was a Supergirl. Helen well Slater. As, yes. No, that was quite good, I wasn't it? I had a massive crush when I was a kid. Oh, did you, indeed? Yeah. 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 Well, getting, getting off topic now. But let's... Uh... <laughs>